Air travel is going to be way up this weekend. Colorado residents are anxious to put the pandemic behind them and enjoy this special Independence Day weekend. It's a long weekend and lots of people are flying away to see family and friends. Cora Dickey is live at the Grand Junction Regional Airport with a heads up on how many people are taking to the skies. Cora. That's right, Rob. Fourth of July weekend is filled with star stripes and air travel. And as you can see behind me, terminals have been packed and busy all day and looking forward to the weekend. But GJT is ready to fulfill the supply and demand. Across the country, millions of people are expected to travel this summer, and Grand Junction is seeing its share of visitors as a destination. When it comes to major weekends like Fourth of July, the first travel choice for some is to fly. We're just flying because it would be really tremendous to be doing all this driving, especially with the gas shortage. So flying seems to be the best way to go. Any form of transportation can be a hassle, but the reason behind traveling for a holiday makes it worth the trip. It's a different uh, connection when you can hug and give a kiss on the cheek and really touch base with your family. So I love it. Like any holiday weekend, airports are going to be busier than ever. The best thing passengers can do is to be prepared, packed, and ready for their flight on time. For GJT, 4th of July weekend is going off like a firework with flights booked in arrivals and departures. Running a tight system, the airport director assures that the team is ready to serve the surge of passengers all weekend. The TSA checkpoint is ready to handle the uptick in volume, as are the airlines, so we look forward to welcoming so many visitors and travelers at the airport this weekend. If you're looking for a last minute getaway this holiday, Airport officials share limited seating is still available on different airlines. Now to be ahead of the schedule this holiday weekend, airport staff recommends you check in at least two hours before your flight leaves. Although fireworks can fly in the sky, they cannot fly on the airplane. Reporting first on the Western Slope, live at the Grand Junction Regional Airport, I'm Corey Dickey with KREX 5 News.